All right, everyone. Um, here's the one shot Saturday review of the uh, Uzaru Vegeta, the Grade Eight Vegeta. This was the um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get him in the camera. He's so big. Um, this was the last one of the lottery prize from the Ichiban Kuji. I think it was like uh, my gosh, it was Dragon Ball Z versus Omnibus. Oh my gosh. Forgot the name, but this is by Ben Presto. He was released uh, late last year, and uh, and let's get into him. I guess uh, there's no articulation on him. Uh, great detail. I love this. Um, uh, I also have the you know uh, Grade Eight Vegeta versus Goku uh, that was released years ago. Um, uh, but this one, I mean, I like that one because it's like, it's like it has like a soft touch to it. Um, but this one's just so mean, you know. <laughs> like there's so much detail in it. I'll give you guys a, a 360 view. I'm trying to get them in the... My goodness. His tail um, is removable, but it's like you can't like flip it up and down. It's kind of where it is. You could take it off though, but why, right? Unless you can pretend he got his tail chopped by Yajirobe. And that's a 360 view. Try to get an overview of him for you guys, because he's a beast. And I'll try to give you a 360 overview. go and the retail price for this uh, I paid 120 shipped uh, from Japan straight from Japan but I don't know what he's going at right now sorry um, I wouldn't imagine he's too much more I don't see why he would be I mean uh, I mean these scalpers got to stop pretending like every figure is limited to like a hundred pieces you know it's really annoying you know I can understand the zine line that um, you know, Richie collects or the toy festival ones, you know, the limited, you know, the li very limited, uh, figures that are like to a hundred or 200 or 50 pieces or whatever. But when it's mass produced like this, I really don't like when people scalp, you know, I don't like when people scalp in general, but when you're trying to charge like, you know, 160 or up for this or even 200 or more, I think it's just silly. You know, why are you charging that much? It's just, it's annoying. Um, uh, but I guess this is one of those snooze you lose things if you didn't get it and it's hard to get now then it's like you know but you know not everyone has just a crap load of money sitting on standby for them to buy f as many figures as they want so it is a little frustrating because a lot of people that do buy this these kind of figures the ones that are going to be rare or popular um, they buy in bulk, they buy as many as they can for retail price, and they start selling it on eBay and other sites like Amazon for two to, for double to three times the price. And it's really frustrating because it makes it hard for us collectors, you know, it's not, it's not cool. It makes us spend a lot more than we had to. And it's not like, I can understand if you buy it and you're a collector, you're a fan, then you just decide to sell it. You know, I understand that you want to trade it, you want something better. I sell figures all the time because I I have, I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm spoiled or anything like that because I've been collecting for 20 years and I have a room dedicated to it. So I only have a room. When I say only a room, you have to understand there are tens of thousands of Dragon Ball Z figures out there or Dragon Ball figures in general. So you will not have enough space in your room, I'm sorry, unless you have like some kind of basketball stadium room or something. You're not going to have enough space for all of it. So sometimes I have to sell or trade figures that I bought. Like I had the whole Jack, Jake specific line, you know, the Irwin toys. Um, I still have some, but I sold most of them. Like I, had, I basically had the whole set. I had the GT, uh, you know, the one that's expensive now, the General Rildos and his armor without his armor and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I sold those cause I just didn't want them. I didn't like them. Um, I just didn't have room for my set for what I want for my room, you know? And besides, just so you guys know, I know people are going crazy over, 
I, I seen though it's like ridiculous stupid prices. Like General Rodo's going for like three hundred and up. Like with the armor, it shit with the drill on his arm. I'm like, what? Like people are crazy. I bought that when he was like twelve, fifteen bucks at KB Toys. You know, it's like and KB Toys. If you guys don't know, it was a toy store went out of business. Like, well, Toys R Us is still going, but it's uh, it was similar to KB Toys. I mean, similar to Toys R Us. But I'm just, it's these people are crazy that are paying this. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to call you people crazy that are paying for it. I mean. It's just it's just a crazy hobbyist become, you know. People are selling something like so cheap for so much, and they're thinking that it's going to be the only General Rildo. No, I think they already didn't they in the I think the WCF line already made like a mini General Rildo. I don't know, I, but um, but I'm pretty sure, guys. I know GT's old, but I'm pretty sure they're going to come up with another General Rildo figure with a lot better, you know. A lot better detail and all that stuff, you know. So, uh, just guys, if you see something ridiculous overpriced, just take a second thought on it. I mean, don't go give into demand and all this stuff. Dragon Ball is going to continue to pump out tens of thousands of figures in the years to come. Trust me, okay? It's not stopping. It is not. This is Toy, toy Animation's baby, okay? This is their baby, okay? Uh, it's not going anywhere. They're going to keep pumping out stuff. They're going to continue to pump out a thousand more Gokus. The same form, slightly different shade, maybe different pose. I mean, mostly the same mold. You know, so, I mean, guys, just please save your money. If you see this thing for 300 up, no, no, please don't buy this for 300 dollars up. That's crazy. You're buying a hundred dollar figure for 300. Ugh. It kills me. It kills me when I see guys do that. It's like, it's frustrating. But you know what, guys? That's my opinion. If you really want it that bad and you don't want to wait for the next one or for the lower price or whatever the case is, then by all means, you know, buy it. You know, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying I wouldn't do it. And I don't like to see you guys get ripped off. I don't like to see any collector pay arm and a leg for some, you know, something like that, you know? If it's like a... Like, if it's some, some, um, gosh, some figures are generally just expensive when they first come out. Like, Toy Festival was always expensive when it came out because it was always limited. Um, just like the Shueisha, um, Dragon Ball Selections, you know, those were expensive in the get go. When they first came out, I saw them, they were like $500, like $600 on eBay. I was like, what the hell? Like, there were some, I mean, it's just ridiculous expensive, even when it started from the get go. I mean, like, you, the less popular one, like, Volume 1 and 2, like, Goku and Vegeta, you could probably get for, like, 400 bucks. But even, like, Volume 7, 6, 5, they were, like, $600, $700. Now they're, like, 1200 and up. I mean, it's just, I mean, like, if it's, if it's not too far from retail, I say go for it. But if it's, like, re, like, double or three times the price of its retail, then that's crazy. Unless, unless it's limited to, like... You know, 200 or less. You know, 200 or less, I want to say, okay? Like, uh, a lot of the Ichiban Kujis, like the Ichiban Kuji Uzari I was talking about earlier with the versus Vegeta. Um, like, the gold one of that, I think it's limited to 200. Sure, if you want to pay a stupid amount of money for that, go for it. Um, not for me, but I would justify that more than buying something like this for like $300 that was mass produced. I mean, I just, I mean, I love the figure, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to devalue him, he's awesome. He really is. But I'm saying like, if he's not really limited and it's just, you know, honestly, the things that they're not limited, it's just that they're getting sold out because they're scalpers and the scalpers are essentially making them limited, you know, it's sad. You know, these mass produced items that if really every collector just got one, like I'm talking about an actual collector of Dragon Ball, like a hardcore collector, you'd probably be fine. But you get these people that scalp, that these stores that mark up their price. And the thing is, guys, if you buy it at $200 or $300, guess what? They're going to be like, oh, well, we can sell this at $200 or $300. But the problem with that is everyone would have to see, be in the same boat. Everyone would have to be on the same page for it, but everyone's not. There's going to be that one or two or a couple hundred collectors that are just going to be like, I need it, I need it, I'll pay whatever, you know? And like I said, that's fine, but what it does is it creates a horrible ripple effect for the rest of the collectors and makes everything more expensive. Um, every time I do these figure reviews, no matter how well I plan it, I go on a rant just because... 
every figure has a story, right? And I have a story. I have a story for every figure that I review, like where where whether the cost or whether there's similar figures to it, you know. So there's always something to talk about with these figures, and I really gotta, I don't know, put a muzzle on it because it's rough. <laughs> I know you guys are suffering. Like, I just want to see the figure, man. Please. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You can mute me, okay? But he's like, yeah, but you're just staring at it. You're not doing anything different. <laughs> I am so sorry. Um, let's get into this 10 minutes in, right? Um, all right. So here, excellent detail. Look at the tongue. Love the color. There's even shading on the tongue. If you can see the red uh, tips there. Oh, my gosh. You can't see my finger on here. The red, the red, reddish there, more pinkish. And I know there's a highlight there for my light, but no, it is more red there. So it is actually shaded. Um, the teeth look awesome. Love the teeth. I mean, it's just an overall, you know, really good figure. Look at the detail in the fur. I, it's just, and it's a big figure, guys, so... I want to try to do like a 360 view of like his top half and bottom half separately. But you can see like, look at the veins and the tears in his armor. I mean, it's a really, it's a really well done figure. I still don't agree on getting uh, ripped off on it, but it's a really nice figure, guys. Um, and if I ever do sell it, which I probably won't. Because it works for my collection, like uh, the way I have it staged. Um, but I won't sell it too much past retail. Basically, I'll charge a little bit over. Like um, I gotta figure out a percentage for what I'm willing to pay. Because I have a I have a certain amount of what I'm willing to pay past retail for something. But I need to convert it to like re uh, like you know percentage wise, so I can just give you guys like an estimate of what you know I would um, uh, you know buy something more for past this retail. But look at the detail in the glove. You know, Ben Presto did a great job with this last one, Ichiban Kuji prize. It is it really is good. Look at that. Look at the tendon. Look at like the muscle, the muscle fibers. It's just ridiculous. It really is good, guys. See the tear. His tail. Like I said, his tail connects. You'll know which way to connect it because, hold on, let me pick it up for you guys. You'll, you'll know which way to connect it. Oh, it's a shadow. Oh, I just realized. Um, well, not just realized, but I forgot. But he is somewhat posable. All right? Obviously, his arms aren't posable. You can clearly see there's no articulation. So there is articulation. I did lie. I am sorry. I did forget. I, it's easy to forget. So be fair. Um, these move. These guys, and I, oh, I need a tripod, guys. But the feet do move, okay? The feet do move a little bit, okay? You see a little, they do move a little bit. Can I do this? Here we go. Here you go, guys. Awesome. Let's try to make that work. Okay. So, you see that? I know it's such a bad angle, but as you can see, they do move. I mean, is it 360? Yeah. The feet move with 360, 360 degrees. Same thing with this foot. 360 guys and I apologize that you guys can't really see that too well because I don't have a tripod but you can pose him to make sure he doesn't fall or you can have his feet a little bit staggered more one way because they they do move so I'm sorry that he does have articulation um and uh and I don't know if they have fake figures or bootlegs of this guy um but just to be safe, guys, there's, um, I think it's on this foot, right? Yeah, there we go. So his uh, official brand right there, as you can see, the Baron Presto logo, I mean, stamp. Um, that's where it is. If you guys feel like you got a fake one or something like that, then um, that's where you can find out if it's fake or not. It has to have that stamp. If not, then it is, unfortunately, a counterfeit. That or the very, very, very rare chances that maybe it was just a quality control issue and they just forgot to stamp on the foot. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, as in my other review with the Ox King, piece of his horn was missing. Like, and that's a solid piece. Not like it can get lost. Like, it was just like, I don't know. It was like just a quality control issue where it was damaged or 
it wasn't fully molded. I don't know. It's yeah, I like it because it's unique and it's my battle damage ox king. But uh, but you know, there are defects with figures sometimes. You know, it'd be a really cool defect. Like if this was the uh, um, Planet Arlia version of uh, Vegeta. Like if they messed up and they did a color swap or something crazy, then I'd be like, oh my god, that's a Grail. That's the nicest defect I've ever seen. You know. Um, but anyway, 15 minutes in. Okay, let's shut up and hurry up. Um, but excellent figure, guys. I'm pretty sure I already got the 360 view. There he is. Ta-da. Excellent. He, he really is beautiful, though. You could pose him. You could show him like that. You could show him, you know, head on. If you're going to pose him like that, you'll be fine. But if you want to pose him like this and you want to see his eyes, maybe you shouldn't put him on the highest shelf. You may not be able to enjoy it. Um, I have him behind my moon that I I made. So um, it works. I mean, I have him in front of the moon I made. So it works for my collection for what I did. But, um, but anyway, that'll, that'll be it for this review, guys. I'm sorry for talking you up to death. Um, but... This is the Ichiban uh, Kuji last one prize from the Dragon Ball versus Omnibus, I think it's called. Um, retail was 120. That's what I paid for, which including shipping. What it goes for now is beyond me. Um, like I said, pay what you want, guys. Um, you know, do what you want to do. But I'm just saying, just sometimes if you're worried, it'll be the last one. Because trust me, he won't. There's going to be plenty more Great Ape Uzaro Vegetas. Okay. Uh, and I'm sure they'll be better than this, as hard as that is to say, because he is so beautiful looking. But dude, I'm sure they'll make more, okay, guys? Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching One Shot Saturday's review of uh, Great Ape Uzaro Vegeta. Um, tomorrow, as usual, I will post a sneak peek of the picture of something I will do um, for the following day. So tomorrow, Sunday, you'll get a sneak peek, and then Monday, you'll get the review of that figure. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you're um, if you're on YouTube, you won't see the sneak peek unless you go to my Facebook page because I can't post pictures on YouTube just yet because I don't have enough subscribers. I think you have to have like 10,000 subscribers. So it's going to be a while, guys, before you get the pictures on face on YouTube. So visit my, um, my uh, Facebook page at Bob Draconis um, on Facebook. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you later.